Uh, earlier this year, there were worrisome reports that, you know, should the negative effects on MCPS students falling behind in grade levels in math and in English for that was for 10th graders and for students in the in the middle school. But this week, the County Council's Education and Cultural Committee reviewed the college and career measurements of MCPS graduates, and they came back, came out with some shocking results. Only 40 percent of MCPS graduates are proficient in math and just 62 percent in English. Mara say. You know, you are on the board of Montgomery College, and I understand this is a very important topic for you. How do we address this when we're sending out graduates who really can't function in the workforce or in college? I honestly, I'm so I'm so glad you brought this this topic this week, Casey. Um, that is true. We, we at Montgomery College, we're having to remediate most of the admitted students to Montgomery College. You know, I think this is an issue where there's an imbalance of how uh, teachers are being held accountable. Um, as I, I sp I've spoken before, you know, the, the teachers union has a lot of power and control as to who gets on the board of education. And ultimately those, ca those candidates that then become elected, they tend to listen to the cohort of people that got them there. So I think, you know, um, as taxpayers, in Montgomery County, we're, we're spending 13,000 per pupil on top of 7,000 that we're getting from the state. Um, and, you know, in return, we're getting, um, you know, uh, graduates that are not college ready. Um, I think there's definitely needs to be a shift in, in the power um, in terms of, you know, who is, who is the superintendent uh, really representing, who is the board of education really representing, and who's representing the students themselves. Um, I think this is a, an issue that the county has been struggling with for years, and I'm hoping that, you know, expert, uh, subject matter experts can really address, um, you know, the basically the, how we're failing our, our, our student body. You know, Lori, uh, there's, I think, you know, one of the things that came out of COVID was a greater awareness by parents the, as to what was going on in the schools. And they're disappointed by the fact that their you know, kids aren't getting a, a good education. And, you know, Adam Pugnuko uh, is a, you know, fabulous uh, online uh, advocate for Montgomery County. And he points out that Montgomery, that MCPS is one of the better funded school systems with 90 percent of the students graduating. But unfortunately, there seems to be a, the significant number of MCPS that are not ready when they graduate. So how do we fix this? How do we turn this around? Well, for one thing, transparency, like even Adam Pugnuco couldn't get a lot of details uh, when he reported on this. And so I did a little deeper dive trying to find um, the report. And I even tried to look at the education committee uh, video and I didn't find the, uh, rep the uh, presentation of this report. So I, I'm very confused, but I do know that they're basing uh, college and career readiness on basically getting an A, B, or C in Algebra 1 or uh, being able to pass a test that is very low level um, Algebra 1. I mean, is just completing Algebra 1 uh, make you college and career ready? I mean, you're, you're supposed to have more than that to get to college. Um, I, I don't know why they have such a low bar now. They are, well, I do know why they're trying to make it more likely for everyone to qualify to get into college, but that's not helping people once they get to college. So I, you know, I'm very concerned with the benchmarks that they have and, um, you know, what is happening with our board of ed, you really should pay attention to who you vote for. I would not vote for any incumbents and I would not vote for any teacher, um, uh, recommendations, uh, the teachers union recommendations. Um, That's right. Throw the bums that. out. It is. Yeah, throw the bums out. out. You need someone <laughs> who will actually cry. ask for, for data that, that the public at least can see, because I couldn't yeah. find it. Well, it's, it's, you know, um, it's, it's so overlooked. The school board elections are so important and they don't get enough attention in the media or even, even though we talk about it almost every week, how important it is.